I'm Tom Johnson, Thomas Johnson, Antique Furniture Restoration in Gore, Maine. This is a nice chest of drawers. Stylistically, it's from the early 1800s, like Louis XVI uh, into the Directoire period, or maybe uh, Regency. But I don't think this piece of furniture is that old. I think it's, a, a, it's an old piece of furniture. It's a reproduction now. But it is handmade, solid wood, mortise and tenon joints. It's a very nice piece of furniture. It needs a lot of work. It has a lot of inlay repairs, veneer repairs. The finish is in really bad shape. It's going to need to be refinished. However, this video is just going to be on focus on one aspect of the restoration, and that's the repair of these side panels. These are all veneered, and the veneer is coming off. But in order to clamp this down, I'm going to have to disassemble this chest of drawers so that I can have flat panels to clamp. The first step is going to be to uh, see if I can remove the top. I had seen, looking from underneath, these holes all neatly arranged all the way around. I thought this top was uh, probably screwed onto here. But as I look down these holes with a little uh, flashlight, all I see is glue down in there. So I'm probing around this piece of wood here. It seems, it seems pretty tight. I'm assuming that this whole top frame is glued to the subframe here. I think I'm going to uh, hit this a little bit with a mallet, but then I may just have to start uh, getting the heat gun and going around the perimeter of this thing, see if I can loosen it up. Well, luckily this knife blade seems to, to be going under there, possibly breaking uh, any bond that's there. In fact, I think I... It's opening up, so I think I'm just going to keep going around like this, see what I get. I think I'll go along and loosen this up, and then start putting some wedges in there, loosen up along the front. Well, this seems to be working. I mean, it's loosening up. There, I think this is glued down. There's not a lot of glue. It's just letting loose as I go along. So I'm just going to go around the whole perimeter of this until this top comes off. See, the core of this top section is plywood. And um, I'm trying to keep that top layer of plywood from splitting away. So you can see here where the plywood's hanging on. Things about ready to lift off. I think it's loose. Alright, excellent. Now there's pieces of wood from the top stuck to this and I just may uh, leave them right where they are when we, when, when we reattach that top. These pieces of veneer that split away from that will go back right where they belong. You know, I've decided after removing the top and I'm not sure if this case is really going to come apart. I don't want to cause uh, any damage. So I think I'm not going to take the case apart after all. I still will remove these drawer guides. I need to have the back of this clear to facilitate you know, being able to glue down the veneer on these sides. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these drawer runners. What I'm discovering is that there's a, there's a nail in here. But I might be able to pry this up. Okay, I've got all the drawer runners out. Now the next step is to see if I can get this veneer panel off of here. I'm going to start with the heat gun and some knives and see if I can start working it up. You can see that this first part is very loose. I don't even really need heat, but I'm going to keep applying heat because it's, it's down in this area. So I need to keep working my heat up in there as best I can and, and see if this glue will loosen up. Here on the edge, the inlay is kind of splitting. I'm going to have to cut that inlay loose with a razor blade to make sure it can come up with the minimum amount of damage. Okay, that's off of there. Let's talk about how I'm going to glue this up. Here you see a cross section of a piece of veneered wood. Take a clamp and apply some pressure directly to the piece. The pressure radiates out from the clamps at 45 degree angles. 
put on another clamp, same thing. The problem here is that if you don't put the clamps close enough together, you can get spots where there isn't any pressure or not enough pressure to do the job. And with a clamping job like this one, there's only enough room for a couple of clamps. So here's what you do. Take your piece of wood, put another piece of wood up against it. This is called a platen. And behind your platen, a bracing piece of wood called the call. That way, when you put on the clamp and apply the pressure, it radiates out over a much larger area. Now you can put on a second clamp and know that you're getting pressure over the whole surface of the wood. So when the glue dries and you take off the calls, the platens, and the clamps, your piece of veneered wood is nice and flat. So now I'm going to cut some MDF, which is medium density fiberboard. I'm going to cut sheets of MDF to go on either side of this panel for the platens. First I'm going to install my uh, platens on the inside. Now I'll hold these in place with a stick. I'm using a lot of glue on this surface and I, I know that this glue cannot fill gaps or <laughs> correct the unevenness of the surface, but I just feel like I want to put down a lot of glue and hope for the best. Now this platen is covered with plastic. These calls have a camera to them, like this, which will give us really even pressure. find out tomorrow. Okay, let's uh, let's see what we got. Oh, it looks really good. Seems nice and flat. Okay, this is the other side of the cabinet that we glued up uh, exactly the same way as the other side. Let's see what it looks like. Alright, this came out well, it's, it's, it's down, it's, uh, it's nice and flat. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the tape, I'm going to uh, wash off this excess glue with some water, I'm going to patch any spaces where I can, uh, where the inlay is missing, I'm going to fill in the other cracks and spaces with wood putty so that when I strip it, the stripper won't attack my glue through these cracks. I'm just giving the putty a quick sand, smooth it out a little bit before I strip this.
I didn't appreciate how beautiful the veneer was. Now I will apply the first of three coats of shellac. All right, here we have this uh, very nice little Louis XV style reproduction chest of drawers, probably built in the uh, early 20th century. Uh, we did a lot of veneer repairs to this with the inlay and even on the top, but of course this video just concerned itself with the sides. And those we took off, re-glued, and then we had to sand them down, so we just refinished the entire piece. But uh, I think it looks pretty good.